Welcome to the Open Tech Talks TV, and today we have a guest speaker Ali Abbasi, and uh, and I'm happy that uh, we got a speaker who is uh, working on uh, technology and which is right now very trendy, and everyone is using it, or maybe it's being impacted, or the user end user of. I mean, I'm talking about ChatGPT. And I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in, uh, confident that we will learn today a lot from Ali. And let's welcome Ali, and uh, we will hear from him. And if Ali, you can introduce yourself to the audiences. Awesome. Well, Kashif, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Um, so my name is Ali Abathi. I'm the founder of AI for Work uh, Doc Co, uh, which is a prompt library uh, for professionals. Uh, it basically uh, is prompts designed for each individual job, uh, whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, uh, or a marketer. Uh, you'll find um, you'll find resources on this website that will help you get the most out, out of ChatGPT. Um, me, myself, my background is mostly in marketing. Uh, since ChatGPT came out, I became obsessed, um, and I just explored and tested and built um, various tools and various um, uh Start playing around with the platform uh, until I learned an awful lot from it. And uh, at this point, I teach uh, I teach knowledge workers on how to use it for their work. And um, I, like you said, it's it's very trendy right now. Um, uh, I think at the moment there uh, a very small percentage of people actually use ChatGPT on their daily basis. But um, I think that number is going to go up by a lot uh, over the next year. Okay. So uh, let's uh, start with uh, what was your background and what you were doing it before, you know, prompting or starting or focusing on AI because it just started a six month back in a public. Yeah, like. for sure. So maybe some background, your, you know, and what was the mindset? What what leads you to 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 reach here or work on on this area? Yeah. Uh, so my background, uh, I was a professional sales. Uh, person at IBM. I was selling customer engagement software, uh, specifically Watson customer engagement software to some of the largest um, corporations here in Canada, uh, where I live. Um, and uh, I had the opportunity to speak with CMOs um, on how they're using um, how they're using customer engagement uh, solutions today. Um, since ChatGPT came out, the whole business has flipped um, uh, because the way that individual marketers are using it now um, uh, is for content to personalize on a deeper level uh, and so on. So yeah, my background um, has been uh, mostly in technology, uh, specifically around sales and marketing. Right. And I can relate it because I'm also working in a technology and solution engineering. So <laughs> I can I can relate to the, that background. All right. So, okay. So how is it going? I mean, you started maybe six months or before that. And how is it going? Uh, yeah, First, definitely. You also, you know, was trying it and then improving it. So, if you can or can explain a process, what process you followed it? Yeah, great question. Um, so how is it going? So the project that I started uh, was a problem probably about forty days ago. Um, I launched my uh, my website, um, and at the moment there we have about twelve thousand users. So it's grown pretty quickly. Um, uh, I would say the process or what's different or unique about the way that I've done this is um, uh, if you take a look at, uh, uh, actually, I'll take a step back. As a marketer myself, uh, the biggest frustration that I had was using ChatGPT uh, and then actually spending more time uh, on the tasks because I had to edit it over and over and over again. Uh, and although um, being a productivity junkie and trying to figure out the best ways to to leverage these tools to save time, I found myself actually wasting more time. Um, it took me longer to get a task okay. done because um, it just wasn't giving me the results that I needed. Um, so what I ended up doing was testing it over and over again until I found out a couple different ways to uh, get the most out of it. Um, so if you take a look at my prompts uh, on my website now, you'll notice that they're all written in JSON. Um, and as a result, uh, the uh, GPT just understands the language a lot better. Uh, my results end up being much more consistent. Um, so that would be one, one simple uh, difference between um, uh, my process today. Uh, all of my prompts are written in JSON. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe for audiences, if you can give a context of uh, prompts, what are the prompts were being used? Because some of the folks may be not using the chat GPT. So maybe we okay. can set the fundamentals uh, 
okay and then we can go into your interesting idea of using json and i like <laughs> okay for sure okay so the prompts that i have uh, on my on uh, ai for work uh, are all uh, categorized by job uh, so what you do is whatever your role is uh, you would go onto the website and you would select your department marketing sales finance, medical. Now, uh, once you click on the department, the next thing is that you click on the actual job itself. Um, mm -hmm. So say you pick marketing manager. The tasks in there will be, you'll have about 20 prompts in there that would be common tasks that a marketing manager would do. Mm -hmm. Create a marketing marketing plan, uh, create a customer persona, um, create a Facebook ad. Um, so all the different tasks that are specific to your job, you'll find them on AI for work. Um, uh, so yeah, there is various, there's about 2,700 uh, prompts on that website and they're all uh, designed for professionals um, in the workplace using uh, using ChatGPT to help them get through um, large portions of their work. Okay. So how, how you validated this idea that, okay, I I should be doing it or and is it the right idea? How how you validated it? Maybe if I think about from that angle that, okay, you you launched it, you worked on it. And, yeah. and in, how you, did you make sure that yes, I am on the right track to 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 make it as a as a main work? Yeah, great question. Um, I, mostly from user feedback. To be honest with you, I wasn't ready to launch my product. Um, I had it launched, and then I was in communications with um, a creator on TikTok, um, who we were just chatting about prompts, and I, I told him, hey, check out check out this website that I'm building, and then um, he actually posted about it without me knowing. Um, and then I woke up one morning and there was 400 signups. Um, so uh, to be honest with you, I validated it by accident. Um, mm -hmm. I built it. Uh, I, I had no distribution model, uh, but just through TikTok alone, um, within the first month, there was 4,000 people who went on it. Uh, I got tons of user feedback, people telling me how uh, how useful the prompts were um, uh, in their roles, and they haven't found anything similar. Um, so yeah, I would say from a validation standpoint, um, I, I tested the prompts myself. There's a framework that I built um, mm -hmm. that provides consistent results, but um, really it was just user testing. Um, uh, folks in all different uh, backgrounds and different uh, job titles uh, just reached out to me on LinkedIn and they mentioned that they used my prompts, that they uh, ended up saving a ton of time. The, the output that they got was significantly different uh, and that they've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a, if maybe we go in depth to to these uh, prompts, which are basically questions answering, asking to chat GPT or BART to give me that, me, we need that answer to my question or maybe help me to write something. So if you can share some, some tips to audiences that if they want to do it and they, they're not using your product, what are the some key characteristics which they need to keep in mind? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think the average user, when they're using ChatGPT, um, they're usually asking it like a glorified search, right? So if your goal was to write a blog post, um, many people will start by saying, hey, ChatGPT, please help me write a blog post. And what you'll end up with is a really bad result. It'll, it'll sound like an AI wrote it. It won't be very good. Um, and then the way that I would structure it is... Um, or how you would see my prompts is they start off by asking ChatGPT um, in JSON that your task is going to be to write a blog post. Uh, the rules that you're going to follow are going to be to start by asking me questions um, by reading these reference materials and then producing the work. Once you produce the work, uh, then you're going to evaluate your own work. So you'll have a criteria of six different things. Um, you'll, you'll validate whether the work that you did uh, met that criteria and you'll say how to improve it. Then the user gets the option of um, of choosing, uh, asking ChatGPT to revise the work um, based on its own advice. So there's a loop that goes over and over. Uh, so ChatGPT continuously improves its own work until you end up with a really good result. Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, how how do uh, how would somebody who hasn't used my prompts before um, get uh, good results out of ChatGPT. Uh, my advice would be to um, to um, one <laughs> use JSON uh, as the format that they uh, that they write their prompts in, um, and two to think dynamically about um, uh, how to get the best results um, uh, and the frameworks that they use for their prompts. 
Okay, and this JSON is is you're not calling the API. It's like writing in the straight in, yeah in the end user right or is it to the APIs? No, you got it spot on. It's actually just uh, using the chat platform. Um, so when I thought about writing prompts, I had to make sure that they were consistent for any user at any skill level. Um, so if you go to AI for work, you simply just need to copy and paste. Um, mm -hmm. But the challenge is that many people, if it was written in natural language, uh, mm -hmm. many people will throw it in uh, to GPT or GPT-4, and they keep getting different results. What I found was that if you put it in JSON format, um, you end up getting consistent results. Um, the system seems to follow a structured um, path when it when it follows the instructions in JSON. Um, this was a power tip. I noticed that um, uh, there was maybe one or two people talking about this on mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter. And um, uh, and yeah, it, it's not a very popular or well-known uh, way to prompt, but it's provided me significantly better results. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I like your idea of uh, in the framework uh, for validation that you're giving a validation task itself to to the chat, to the AI basically, rather than as a common uh, practice is that, okay, whatever chat GPT is generating, then you are putting your human mind. So, and I and, and, and like the idea that, okay, first you let, let uh, get it validated and then you have a second, second view on it. Excellent. Yeah, exactly. Um, the way that I thought about this was I've worked with multiple assistants in the past, right? Like um, marketing assistants and so on. And I, what I found was that I would never give my marketing assistant a task where uh, they do it and then I accept the first draft. I would revise it. I would ask them to do it again to research. But I realized nobody's doing that with ChatGPT. And this is everyone's assistant. So yeah, it was the framework where the revision, um, mm -hmm. evaluation and revision um, really unlocked uh, a much more powerful response. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Maybe any other hack you want to share uh, for uh, for audiences? Maybe they're working in a professional life or tech or whatever. I mean, you know, doctors, a lawyer, which can help them. A quick hack, yeah, or maybe a secret which you are holding it in your your. Umbrella. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't say it's really a secret. I would just say like um, that the. Um, the investment in, in GPT-4 is um, uh, is likely the best investment and, and a knowledge work can make, can make today. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the, the power of the flat platform um, is so significant, and I think over the next two years, we'll still be unlocking um, new opportunities of what GPT-4 can do. Um, mm -hmm. So I would say, yeah, the, 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 there's no real hack, it's just... Uh, from the advice of a prompt engineer is use GPT-4. Don't don't uh, worry about the new shiny objects and the different tools and the different uh, cool things that are popping up. Um, mm -hmm. uh, invest in GPT-4, learn how to use it. Um, it's like working with a PhD, <laughs> a PhD assistant. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, that, that's what I would say. Okay, all right. And uh, is, are you you selling this product or how 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 the model is? If you can go back yeah. to your your good AF4. question, yeah. So AF Work is a completely free resource. So anybody who wants to use it, they simply just need to go on. They do sign up. When they sign up, they're joining my email newsletter, mm -hmm. and then my email newsletter comes out on a weekly basis. It's um, uh, it just focuses on uh, best ways to use AI at at work and at the job. Um, so the platform is completely free. Uh, my goal with it is really just to provide as much value as I can. Um, okay. And on a weekly basis, there's always new uh, tools that I add to it. Um, so right now, one of the newest tools is an AI business planner, uh, mm -hmm. where an individual simply puts in their business idea, and then it generates a 43-page business plan, including mm -hmm. things like how to raise capital, uh, how to go to market, how to find your first 100 customers. Uh, it's a very detailed business plan, but these are just one of the many resources that I put in there. It's a completely free website. Um, uh, the main focus of the website is really just to provide as much education and as much value um, for users. Uh, from a monetization strategy, um, it's really just building a community. Um, so the community is in the newsletter. And then um, the goal there is really just to continue to provide value and work with sponsors. All right, right. So that's the uh, monetization strategy. All right. That's uh, correct. Wonderful, <clears throat> wonderful. And uh, so... Maybe uh, over the last, I think, uh, six months, if if you if you rate your your journey, 
uh, are you doing this full time or are you you have something else to do it or how you're balancing it yeah i would say it's really challenging to balance it um mm -hmm. uh, i do work full time um in a in a growth marketing role um so my okay. focus uh, is with a variety of different clients but what i notice is most of my client work at this point is around ai and it's around automation um, mm -hmm. So this trend isn't just something that I uh, I came across. It. It's in my daily work. Uh, but AI mm -hmm. for work has uh, 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 I I didn't expect it to grow so quickly. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I didn't expect twelve thousand members to join uh, within forty days. Um, I didn't expect the community to grow so fast. The trend mm -hmm. is much larger than I anticipated. Um, mm -hmm. And I think there's a there's a hunger for really good quality content uh, that's usable and practical. Because I think a lot of the stuff that people find online when they search or prompts or chat GPT, it's very low quality. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I think there's a lot of people looking for, for answers here. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, in this space. maybe as as you were working also in, in your previous role in, in Watson and, and now yeah. you are you are actually uh, supporting it and building the content and in, in this uh, AI trend. So how you see uh, or what are your comments for for the knowledge workers? What yeah. they should be doing it on how they are, on what area they should be focusing on it? Yeah, um, I think there's uh, several stages. Uh, I mm -hmm. think the first stage, if anybody um, hasn't ever used a, an AI tool before, they start with ChatGPT. They start with the regular user interface. Um, I think as um, uh, just based on the announcements that have come out in the last seven days, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, OpenAI is gonna have an enterprise plan, which means there's right. gonna be many more workplaces uh, that integrate uh, GPT into their workflow. Um, Google announced duet.ai um, or duet AI, uh, which is going to put uh, uh, AI tools in the hands of approximately 100 million users in the next 30 days. Um, right. Uh, right, so every company out there at this moment is looking at how to use uh, AI in the workplace. So everybody should anticipate that their job will be impacted in one way or another. And the best thing that they can do is learn how to leverage these tools. Um, and if they want to start at the basic level, it's just learn how to use and how to communicate with ChatGPT. Um, if they want to get more advanced, the next step there is to start using the API um, in, in tools like Excel or in Google Sheets. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that would be step two. Step three is start to learn how to use some of these tools where you build your own applications. They're very easy to do. Anybody can do them now. And then step four, um, when you're a master at it, you start building your own applications in Python. Um, but for the average average uh, employee just looking to uh, improve their skill set or prepare for this coming wave is honestly just use ChatGPT every day. Become AI first. Before you do a task, think to yourself, how do I get ChatGPT to help me uh, do this quicker, faster, and in a smarter way? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, maybe a, a leading question to it that you said yeah. you build uh, step three or four, you build your application. Maybe you, yeah. if you can 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 elaborate more on, on, on it. For sure. So I would say if somebody is brand new to uh, programming or new to uh, technology in general, but they have an idea, um, the first uh, and easiest area to start would be using a tool like make.com or Zapier um, with these okay. platforms. Um, for example, with Zapier, they have Zapier interfaces where you could simply build a chat, you could build a chat bot, you could build an application that calls the OpenAI uh, API, um, and you could build something customer facing. It's not a scalable solution, but it mm -hmm. uh, it if you're using it amongst yourself and your coworkers, um, uh, it's a very easy way to leverage an incredibly powerful tool. Um, the one thing that I would say about like why this this thing is so revolutionary or why it's so important is we were always able to automate tasks, right? Like right. if this happens, then that happens. The difference between now and then is now we have um, a very dynamic tool that can make decisions. Um, you could put unstructured data and ask GPT to give you a yes, no answer. Uh, right. If it's a yes, do this. If it's a no, do that. Um, mm -hmm. And that was never possible before. Uh, so I would say, um, yeah, building, start with something super simple. Um, use something like Zapier interfaces where it connects to the open a uh, AI API um, and allows you to build software or um, a quick little web app to help you solve your problem. Wonderful, wonderful. Maybe last couple of questions. So, uh, and usually when, when someone is doing a, uh, full-time job and then doing such activities. So how you're maintaining work-life balance? 
Yeah, uh, I don't think I am. I don't think I am maintaining. I think I'm I'm uh, pushing through as hard as I can. Uh, and just try to make everything uh, work out. Um, but um, yeah, you know what the answer is? I'm not. I'm working okay. evenings. I'm working weekends. Um, mm -hmm. It's taking a toll on both my life, my family, and so on. But uh, I think it's worth it. Um, mm -hmm. And I think I'm building something that's truly helpful. It's able to help people save time, um, earn more, uh, and uh, just be more productive. So I'm proud of the work that I'm doing, and I think it's useful. Um, so yeah, just mm -hmm. trying to get the most done um with intent sure sure okay so uh maybe a last question so if someone mm -hmm. wants to reach out to you or 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 your ai for work so if you can share some links or yeah absolutely so to reach uh, reach out to me they could just go on linkedin and search my name ali abassi or they mm -hmm. could search ai for work i'll show up um, if they want to check out these prompts, it's completely free. Um, my goal is very simple. It's to help every every professional save at least one hour a day in their work. Um, if they go to aiforwork.co, um, they'll mm -hmm. find prompts specific to their job. Um, uh, and then they can use them if they if they find them useful, they'll reach out. Um, I'm happy to connect and, um, uh, and be as helpful as I can be. Thank you so much, Ali, for joining the Open Tech Talks and and sharing your prompt engineering, I think, hacks and and the and the secrets what you are doing and you're building a library, which will definitely help a lot of lot of folks. Thank for you. sure, well, Kasim, thank you so much for your time and uh, for inviting me.